Hi everyone, I'm Sam and today we are talking about side hustles. In the past, I have done those kind of videos where I did a bunch of research and presented a lot of different side hustle ideas in the form of a list. Today is not that kind of video because in 2022, I have decided that I want to start three new side hustles and I want to document my journey from start to finish and share it all with you. I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing, whether or not I'm successful, and of course, I want to share with you any lessons that I learn along the way. I've been wanting to do this video and starting these side hustles for a very long time because I truly believe that the only way to have real financial security is to have multiple income streams. You can have an amazing career and a super high salary, but if that's your only source of income, you are just one bad day away from being in serious financial trouble. Personally, for me, for the past four years or so, my nine to five has actually been more like a nine to midnight. And don't get me wrong, I love my job, I love the people I work with, and it's been rewarding in so many ways but it's also been super stressful. And I find that my work really consumes so much of my time and my energy. And I know that so many of you are in the exact same boat. And what happens is when we work those kind of hours, it becomes a really easy excuse to say, I can't do side hustles because I just can't fit anything else on my plate. But you know what? 2022 is a new year. Things are gonna be different and I am committed to making these side hustles work. All right, enough about me. Let's talk about my side hustles plan. So as you know, there are so many options out there when it comes to side hustles. And for the past few months, I've been doing a lot of research in order to help me decide what I should focus on. I've been looking for the types of projects where I could utilize my existing skill set, things that are personally interesting to me, things that I can do from anywhere in the world, and also things that give me a high return on investment for my time, at least potentially in theory. So initially I made a short list and it included all kinds of things like hosting experiences on Airbnb. I thought about selling art on Etsy, doing voiceovers, and even even upscaling like furniture pieces that you find from a thrift store. But ultimately I have decided on three core activities for my 2022 side hustles. First, I want to launch an online course. Second, I want to monetize our YouTube channel. And third, I want to start a blog. My goal is to build up all of these side hustles so that they are each earning at least $1,000 a month by the end of 2022. And here's what I'm thinking, building an online course. I spent quite a bit of time comparing the different platforms that host online learning and ultimately I decided to go with Skillshare and I went with Skillshare for a few key reasons. First, I really like the instructional design of the platform which focuses on short courses with very, very practical applications of learning. Second, I feel like the platform is relatively user-friendly for both instructors and for learners. I also really like the subscription model of the platform and the fact that if you're a new user, you can get a free trial in order to test out the courses. And in fact, I wanna use this because after I I launch my course, I'm gonna ask my friends and family to test it out and give me lots of feedback about what they like and what they think I can improve. And the good thing about having that free trial subscription is that they will be able to do it at no cost. I also like the way that instructors are paid. So I'm planning on taking advantage of the royalty share that they offer, but I also wanna take advantage of using the affiliate links in order to generate revenue for myself as part of the side hustle. And finally, I'm hoping that Skillshare is going to offer me the competitive sweet spot that I'm looking for. So basically what I mean by this is I want a platform that has enough users who are interested in my topic, while at the same time not being flooded with like hundreds of the exact same topic already on there. I started drafting my course last week and so far it's been going well. My biggest challenge is actually deciding on the title of the course. My background is in higher education and actually my full-time job is designing professional development courses. So I'm not super worried about making high engagement, high impact content. But what I am worried about is making sure that my title and my introduction are enticing because I want my stuff to stand out in the crowd and I want people to actually click on it and give my course a chance. I'm still working on it and I'm going to do separate videos to give you a full rundown on exactly what I'm doing, the topics and the progress that I made. My goal is to launch my first course in March. So let's see how it goes. Monetizing our YouTube channel. So we started this YouTube channel a little more than a year ago, really as a COVID project. We had a lot of friends who were asking us personal finance questions and we thought it might be fun to make some videos to answer those questions. And full disclosure, our initial part of our YouTube channel is a total hot mess. We had no idea what we were doing in terms of 
up lighting, sound, video, and even our content was all over the place. But you know what? I'm happy that we were a hot mess because in the past year, we have learned so much about what we do not want to do. When I think about my favorite YouTube channels, they are YouTube channels that are super personal and super authentic to the content creator. And so that's exactly what we want our channel to be in the future. So from 2022 onwards, we are taking a little bit of a different approach to our channel. We want to make it really personal. So that means that all of the company valuations that we do are gonna be companies that we are seriously considering investing in. We're going to be sharing our personal watch list. We're gonna be telling you about how our portfolio performs. When we're buying properties, we're gonna film it. We're gonna walk you through all of our numbers and help you be part of that journey with us. And on top of that, we wanna be better about kind of telling you our story and the different mindsets and tips that we have used that have really helped us uh, now and in the past and hopefully in the future. Ultimately, we want everything that we post to be directly related to what we're doing, what we plan to do in the future, or what we have done in the past. And in the time that I'm filming this, I think we have about 180 subscribers and a little bit more than 2,300 hours of watch time. So we're not quite there in terms of monetization, but fingers crossed with our continued improvements, we are going to actually turn this channel into a real side hustle. And finally, creating a blog. So my plan for the blog is actually to launch a proper earn more, spend less, and invest the rest website. And I want to host the blog on that website. I also want to maximize my efficiency by making sure that whatever I'm writing about in the blog complements whatever we're talking about in the YouTube channel. Now, realistically, I've done a bunch of research and I am aware that launching a blog today and actually making it financially successful is very, very difficult. You have to know about SEO and you really have to make content that is going to drive users to your website. So I know it's not gonna be an easy task, but I'm still gonna take it on. And I think worst case scenario, even if I don't end up reaching my goal of making $1,000 a month off of the blog, I still think it's gonna be beneficial if nothing else than from a professional development perspective. All right, everyone, that's it for today. I know that this video was a little different than the usual ones that you would find on our channel, but I really hope that you stick with me as I go through this side hustle journey. I know that I'm gonna need your support and encouragement, especially as the year goes on, and I actually have to do all the work. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this useful. Remember, earn more, spend less, and invest the rest, and I'll see you next time.